สวัสดีครับ Good afternoon Friday the 19th of March uh, 2021 today and this is the English language briefing uh, here at the CCSA so firstly thank you to both Dr. t u w i s i n and Dr. p e n p a p a for the Thai language edition of the briefing that we had today this morning we had the general CCSA meeting wherein the director of the CCSA or the Prime Minister chaired the meeting on various important issues Uh, and I'll be recapping this for you in a short while. Firstly, the daily numbers and statistics for today. We have recorded for today 100 new uh, confirmed cases in Thailand. Of that number, 41 are from active case finding, and 55 are from local transmission, and four others are from the, those who have traveled from abroad and. entered the country, been placed in, uh, directly into the state quarantine system. So that makes a total of 100 cases uh, recorded for today. We have 73 new recoveries, and the total active cases currently in treatment in hospital now, as you can see on screen, is 1,054. Just mind you that uh, this is the period that we still have the active case finding missions, particularly for the at-risk areas in Bangkok, uh, particularly b a n g k a e district, as you all know. So uh, in the process of c- controlling uh, that uh, outbreak. So we have one new fatality to report to you, making the total number of those who have uh, died from COVID in Thailand 90. So just some observations on the current Uh, trends of the COVID situation in Thailand, there continues to be a spike in the number of COVID cases uh, at the local level and also in Thailand. But in Thailand, of course, it's because of the active case finding missions. Now, in Thailand, there continues to be movements still of those who cross the border uh, illegally through the natural uh, pathways, natural natural, uh, borders of, of Thailand. Uh, which is connected to the COVID cases of those being uh, detained as well in the immigration detention centers in b a n g k e n and in s o n p l u So these are the source of uh, some of the numbers that we have for today. Now, constant monitoring of people's movements across the border continues to be a priority for Thailand as we remain vigilant uh, in this fight against COVID. Now, locally, the spread of COVID-19 is still found in Bangkok and 10 other provinces in the northeast and in the southern part of the country. The measures to stem the spread will now emphasize on control measures at wet markets and their surrounding areas, including measures in terms of uh, temperature checking, uh, hand washing, the use of all the applications. And of course, as you know, the the vaccination programs will also focus on uh, areas of Bangkok and Smut Sakon province, uh, aside from the other areas that we have prioritized. And I'll Uh, talk a little bit about that uh, shortly. So this morning, the Prime Minister chaired the general CCSA meeting and discussed various issues of importance and finalized and approved many important issues. So I'll just recap this in five five major points. Firstly, one, this year's Songkran Festival next month uh, will not include water splashing, uh, powder smearing, that's tradition, and foam parties uh, to prevent the risk of disease transmission. Instead, the Songkran Festival in Thailand this year will focus on the traditional aspects of the festival, such as merit-making, such as sprinkling water on uh, Buddha statues, uh, pouring water on the palms, on the hands of the elderly. You can see a graphic there on screen, and asking for their blessings of senior uh, citizens. Uh, of course, strict DMHTT measures need to be followed at all times during Songkran. So this was uh, number one as approved and uh, will be announced in due course formally by the CCSA, approved this morning. Number two, the use of the emergency decree uh, will be extended as interagency cooperation and integration is still very vital, still very necessary in order for us to stem the spread of COVID in Thailand. Now this will be the 11th time, 11th time that the emergency decree uh, has been extended in Thailand. And this will be effective from the 1st of April until the 31st of May 2021. Thirdly, the CCSA general meeting approved for the relaxation measures in various provinces, including Smut Sakhon, 
that, is, that has been approved, and it means that the province of Sakon will no longer will no longer be designated as a red zone, which is the maximum controlled area with strict, strict measures, but will now be in the orange zone where most economic and social activities can now be carried out. And as mentioned earlier, the recategorization of the various provinces uh, has been approved and will be announced shortly, approved this morning. Number four. The CCSA general meeting also talked about the vaccination uh, inoculation uh, program that have continued to go according to the plan in Thailand uh, with the first phase of the vaccine rollout to frontline health workers and at-risk groups due to be completed by uh, totally by October this year. But uh, in the initial stage, uh, 200,000 doses of vaccines are due to be given to people by the end of this month. And the programs are all inclusive uh, in, encompassing all groups of people in Thailand. Uh, in Thailand, now just a little bit of more uh, detail on this. Uh, Dr. Tawisin mentioned this with a graph. Uh, you saw a, some pictures with the uh, injection uh, needles. So the Sinovac uh, vaccine, which will total two million doses, uh, arriving and to be used between February, already used until April of 2021. Now, tomorrow, uh, there will be an additional of 800,000 doses uh, distributed to various provinces, arriving, arriving tomorrow, and distributed to be inoculated in various provinces of economic importance. Now, 200,000 of Sinovac has already arrived, 800,000 tomorrow, and the remaining 1 million dose by April 2021. That makes uh, 2 million doses for Sinovac. Now, in the month of June to August 2021, we'll be receiving in three trenches 26,000 doses of AstraZeneca. Now, this 26,000 will be divided into six, sorry, 26 million doses will be divided into 6 million in June, 10 million in July, and 10 million in August. And the last one would be the AstraZeneca, uh, totaling 35 million doses between September to December of 2021. And this is 35 million will be broken down into 10 million doses in September, 10 million doses in October, 10 million doses in November, and the remaining 5 million doses in December. So as you can see, this plan that we are pushing forward has its uh, own calendar and the number of millions of doses to be arriving in, which, in each particular, particular month in order to cater to the various target groups that we have for the inoculation. All the way uh, from February last month, uh, March now uh, being inoculated, all the way until uh, December, October, then December of, of this year uh, in three big tranches, Sinovac, AstraZeneca, AstraZeneca. Sinovac, 2 million, AstraZeneca, 26 million, and AstraZeneca, 35 million. So one, another important issue, uh, which is number five, which, I'll, uh, which I'm recapping for you uh, from the CCSA general meeting, number five is on the relaxation of quarantine measures. So the mandatory 14-day quarantine for those entering Thailand has been approved to be reduced to 10 days for people coming to Thailand from countries with uh, no cases of COVID variant strains. So from those coming to Thailand in the future with, from countries with COVID variant strains, that will, will, the 14-day quarantine will remain. But for those who come from countries without this uh, strain, it would be, be reduced to 10 uh, days uh, quarantine as uh, opposed to the 14 day uh, uh, previously. Now just uh, some, a little bit of detail on that. So the scenario with the, from people coming from countries with the variant uh, will be quarantined for 14 days in order to prevent the <coughs> spread of the variant uh, strain of the virus uh, in, in Thailand. And this group would have to take the RT-PCR test for three, three times. Now the second scenario is of course for those who <coughs> come travel from countries uh, which do not have the variant strain. They will be required 
aside from the documents and certificates, uh, required to test RT-PCR for two times and be quarantined for 10 days. Now, that being said, I have to mention that this will depend according to the situation uh, in due course at that time, uh, whether or not there will be a, an internationally uh, recognized standard for vaccination as uh, approved by the World Health Organization. And the list of countries uh, for the first group, uh, countries with variant strains, of course, that will be, uh, is to be determined. But basically, there are these two groups, which we'll have to see according to the situation. But in principle, it has been approved by the CCSA meeting this morning uh, for people arriving from countries without the strain to reduce their quarantine period to 10 days. Now, just some additional information that for those uh, who do not come from countries with uh, the variant uh, strain, the first uh, part of it is, the first phase is April to June. So for those uh, coming from countries without the strain, that will be 10 days and then uh, two times of, uh, of the of RT-PCR testing. The second phase, we will divide it into the second phase, which is July until uh, September. The same type of uh, criteria will apply for those coming from countries without their variant strain but we divide this into two periods, immediate periods, April to June, one, and then the second phase is July to uh, September, in case that we would have to adjust uh, this uh, measure or the number of days or the uh, measures that we have to apply to those coming from various countries. So just in those two periods, but basically 10 days for those who come from countries without the strain. Now from the period of October the 1st, 2021 onwards, for those coming from countries without the variant strain, possibly there would be no quarantine from the 1st of October, according to the criteria that we have, uh, will be setting by that time, <clears throat> and um, of course the situation at that time. So looking, looking forward to that, if the numbers don't get that high, those coming from many countries will be able to travel to Thailand, firstly with the 10-day quarantine, and by October the 1st with no quarantine at all. So this has been approved in principle this morning. So just some additional information. Uh, first is the organizational quarantine along the border. The government spokesman said that the cabinet approved a budget of 438 million baht to create 14 organizational quarantines or OQs along the border facilities for migrant workers and those who cross the border uh, illegally. Uh, who, and who have been arrested in, in, seven, in seven provinces. So that's Tax, Masot District, Chiang Rai, Ranong, Songkla, Chantaburi, Sakyao, and Nong Khai provinces, including preparing field hospitals in case of health emergency, which will be operational from April until September of this year. Now, this is set up because of the fact that there remains people traveling uh, uh, into Thailand illegal, illegally through natural borders, as you can see on screen through uh, forests or uh, rivers, uh, which we would have to take very strict uh, enforcement. But uh, when they are uh, arrested, uh, they would be placed into these organizational quarantine at the border facilities. Another piece of information is about the test project on the immunity among people who have received Sinovac or AstraZeneca. So the health ministry will conduct a study on the vaccine efficiency among people who received Sinovac or AstraZeneca vaccines to learn more about the, their ability to build up immunity in the, in the body. Results of the test project are expected to be known within the next two months and will help shape the government's vaccine policy as we go forward for the next uh, 12 months. Now, Dr. Somsak Akasin the, from the uh, Department of Medical Services said that the COVID vaccines could not guarantee lifelong efficiency, now that's a fact, to prevent further infection. So it is important for us to continuously learn more about the vaccine, such as through tests that I, that I mentioned. And you have an infographic there on this launch of the uh, test uh, study campaign. Another information is about uh, COVID uh, sniffing uh, dogs you might have seen in the uh, news. So Chulalongkorn University's Faculty of Veterinary Science has released uh, Thailand's first ever pack of COVID sniffing dogs, confirming that they are almost 95% accurate in identifying asymptomatic patients. Now the Faculty of Veterinary Science said that the, since the dog's sense of smell is 
50 times better than humans. Uh, Labrador retrie retrievers were selected for training as they have long uh, snouts and a good sense of smell and are friendly. So the six uh, sniffer dogs were 94.8% accurate in sniffing out uh, asymptomatic patients, stating that dogs were also being used to sniff out virus carriers in Finland, in Germany, France, and Australia. The researchers used the patient's uh, sweat to train dogs, confirming that the entire process was safe. And there are also plans to, in the future to train dogs to detect patients with other diseases as well. Now, this is all classified as uh, inno innovation and things that we try to come up with uh, in order to help in terms of the search, the, uh, the identification of those who are uh, at risk and, and things like that. So uh, just another uh, part of the uh, effort that we're having in addition to, in addition to the medical and scientific uh, uh, based uh, measures that we have. So just in closing, the situation in Thailand continues to be um, under control. Um, I, I can uh, safely say that. And so we'd like to thank all of you to, for your kind cooperation. Your actions are very uh, important in, in the past and will continue to be important uh, in the future, in the coming uh, months in the fight against COVID. Your contribution is very, uh, very uh, important. We have uh, quite uh, an increase in the number compared to the past weeks, but they are, of course, from the active case finding. We have the vaccine uh, detail rollout planned already in place. The Prime Minister took the shots already without any uh, symptoms, and we'll continue to improve and adjust uh, accordingly, according to the situation each day, finding innovation, finding new avenues, and continuing with our efforts to uh, rid Thailand of COVID. Now, you can keep uh, updated with the information around the clock uh, on social media uh, regarding the statistics and updates on various channels. That was on screen for you just now. The Facebook pages of uh, PR Thai government, uh, the Tourism Authority of Thailand, the NBT uh, World page, the Bangkok Post, uh, the Nation, and then uh, Thai PBS uh, World as well. So thank you very much for your attention. Have a very, very pleasant uh, weekend ahead, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Sorry, Krap.